Hello, everyone. I'd like to begin by thanking our host, Prime Minister Modi, for the warm welcome he has extended to our team, to the entire delegation. As many of you know, the Prime Minister and I have met many times prior to this visit. From the COP21 Environmental Conference in Paris to several G20 meetings to the Nuclear Security Summit in Washington and just a few weeks ago on the sidelines of the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland. After all, we share not only a rich history but a set of values that encourages a natural friendship between our two countries. Prime Minister Modi, it is such a pleasure and a privilege to finally be with you here in India and I look forward to continued partnership for the years to come. I'm glad to say that we just wrapped up a productive meetings during which we discussed issues of mutual interest and the future of the Canada-India partnership. As you uh, saw from the Prime Minister's uh, uh, words, many topics were on the agenda this morning uh, and instead of repeating all of them, I'd like to focus on three specific areas. First, we talked about how we can work together to create growth in a way that benefits Indians and Canadians alike. L'Inde est l'une des économies qui connaît la croissance la plus rapide dans le monde. Le pays a su consolider sa position comme puissance économique et chef de file mondial dans les domaines de l'innovation et de la technologie pour en nommer quelques-uns. Nous avons la chance d'approfondir notre partenariat et de réaliser le potentiel inexploité de nos liens commerciaux tout en renforçant l'autonomisation des femmes. Plus tôt cette semaine, nous avons fait un grand pas dans la bonne direction lorsque j'ai annoncé un milliard de dollars d'investissement entre le Canada et l'Inde qui mèneront à la création de presque 6 000 bons emplois pour les Canadiens. Earlier this week, we took a major step in strengthening our economic relationship when I announced a billion dollars in two-way investments between Canada and India, which will create 5,800 good middle-class jobs back home in Canada. Now, this is great news for both Canadians and Indians. Whether it's a Canadian firm exporting to India or India's global companies creating jobs for Canadians, we all win. This is a vote of confidence from the Indian business community in the future of the Canada-India partnership. As Canada looks to diversify its own economy and looks for new opportunities to do business beyond its borders, India is a natural partner and a trusted friend for commercial cooperation. To this effect, Prime Minister Modi and I welcome the conclusion of and progress on cooperation agreements in areas such as civil nuclear science and technology, information technology, automotive sector cooperation, intellectual property, smart cities, and customs enforcement. That said, a renewed economic partnership must create jobs and help families get ahead. As governments, we have the responsibility to set the right parameters for economic relationships to flourish in a way that benefits everyone, not just the wealthiest few. I know that Prime Minister Modi and I are united in that ambition. Ensuite, nous avons discuté de notre engagement à lutter contre les changements climatiques. Le Premier ministre et moi savons que l'économie et l'environnement doivent aller de pair. Nous avons parlé de l'importance d'accélérer la transition mondiale vers des sources d'énergie abordables, fiables et durables. Nous avons convenu de collaborer à des travaux de recherche et de développement. Nous avons aussi décidé d'étendre la portée du dialogue ministériel Canada-Inde en matière d'énergie à tous les secteurs énergétiques qui pourraient faciliter l'accès à de l'énergie propre en vue de la quatrième réunion qui aura lieu cet automne au Canada. Soyons clairs, les changements climatiques représentent le plus grand défi de notre époque. Le Canada et l'Inde ne sont pas seulement en position d'agir, on peut mener la charge sur la scène internationale. Nous restons fermement résolus à mettre en œuvre l'accord de Paris dans son intégralité pour que nos enfants et nos petits-enfants puissent profiter de tout ce que notre monde aura à leur offrir, et ce, pendant des générations. Lastly, 
we discussed deepening and strengthening people-to-people -people ties. Canada is home to more than 1.3 million people of Indian descent. India and Canada are united not only by their common ambition to create more opportunities for people to get ahead, but, a shared, but by a shared set of values. Values like respect for the democratic tradition, pluralism, and diversity. But while our history is something we can all be proud of, I am most inspired by the prospect of our shared future. The youths of Canada and India are growing closer every day, and that gives me great hope in what we will be able to achieve in the years to come. Last year, about 125,000 Indian students chose to pursue their studies in Canada, making India the second largest source of international students for Canada's universities, colleges, and schools. And we expect this record number to keep growing in 2018. Ce n'est là qu'une des façons dont le Canada et l'Inde se rapprochent de plus en plus à chaque jour. Ces étudiants deviennent rapidement des ambassadeurs de la relation qui unit le Canada et l'Inde, puisqu'ils nouent des liens durables entre nos pays. Après ces visites, cette visite d'une semaine, je peux dire avec certitude que mon gouvernement est plus déterminé que jamais à élargir et approfondir les liens entre le Canada et l'Inde. Et les onze visites que nos ministres ont effectuées durant les deux dernières années en témoignent. So I am pleased with the important progress we've made on issues of mutual interest during our meetings. And once again, I want to thank our host, my colleague, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, for his hospitality. And of course, thank you all again for joining us today. Merci beaucoup. Thank you, Excellency.